to meet the players. Ladies and gentlemen, the former World Grand Prix champion, the winner of the Players' Championship Finals, is Super Gene Darrell Gurney! Touching hands, reaching out, Touching me, touching you. why Michael Van Gogh is holding up a bear there. That's a buddy bear. It's become the unofficial symbol of Berlin since 2001. They had an exhibition where famous people painted fiberglass bears left around the city. And it was to promote peace, international understanding and tolerance among nations, cultures and regions of the world. You learn everything new every night? Oh, oh definitely, yeah, yeah. And, uh, as if he needed to make himself popular as a crowd <laughs> anyway. <laughs> He's made himself a lot more popular now, though. Oh, definitely, yeah. He, he, Look really relaxed, didn't he? Having a, a good time coming up there. As did Daryl Gurney. Um, you know, important game for both players in in, in different aspects of the league. If you, you feel Daryl, if he can nick a point here tonight, tonight, will put some more pressure on Raven and Barnabel ahead of their clash next week. Every leg is crucial for Gurney, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And I'm having a touch on if he can. If, first leg is we don't want to talk about it. If he, if he is going to, if he does get beaten, keep the like the gaps marginal because it could come down to that in these uh, next couple of weeks. When Marlon and Nigel Pearson in commentary.
Thank you, Dave. Yes, Michael Van Goen looking to go back to the top of the table tonight. Rob Cross, we've already seen win his match to go on to 11 points. One defeat in seven for the former world champion, Rob Cross. MVG now two points behind him and three legs behind him in legs difference. That's for Daryl Gurney, of course. Five points in the Premier League, three defeats, but of course got a point in Nottingham last week which could well yet prove to be a precious point in the no, final reckoning in Rotterdam next week when it comes to survival way yep. yeah it's all uh, shaping up to be Thank exciting you. if Daryl Gurney does do a job on MVG here that's not good news for him for Raymond van Barneveld and his army of fans <laughs> Michael 265 will start on 19s. He will stay on 19s. Started off really slack last week against Price, which was most unusual for Michael. So Van Gerwen bouncing back last weekend, uh, last week I should say, in uh, Nottingham after a slight blip. This Premier League campaign. 45. 45. A little bit careless and scrappy there. Yeah, slack again. Head-to-head -head records don't read well for Gurney. 86. He played 22 86. times. He's lost 18 of them. 1-3, drawn one. Michael looking for 60 for double five. Well, you heard that roar, didn't you? Listen to that. Oh, my goodness. So typical of the man that he throws some slack darts, a little bit scrappy. I say lazy darts, but scrappy, definitely. And he recovers with a fantastic finish like that. And yeah, you're quite right. Despite the thousands of people in this magnificent arena here in Berlin, you could hear the roar of approval of the passionate Michael Van Gerwen. What an arena this is seen some superb performances so far it's been a, a really good night good to say Rob Cross playing well against Gerwin Price and then the last game if you watched it you were treated to a draw Peter Wright and James Wade really enjoyed that I watched it <laughs> I it hope here? so was I hope here? so <laughs> yeah the fans are having great value for the Euro tonight that's for sure Enjoying themselves with Max Hopp to come. Can you imagine? Yeah. I mean, we saw that entrance for John Henderson in Aberdeen. Will the Hopp entrance top that in Berlin tonight? They adore him, they really do. So they should. He's a, a world class operator, Max Hopp. To see Martin Schindler at the back of the comms box as well. Good to see yeah. uh, the little fella. Yeah. 60-60, tops. Just going low a bit. Doesn't like it. We haven't seen a 170 in this Premier League yet. Which is odd. It's deep. Snatchy first dart. It's, uh, putting pressure on Gurney now, leaving 57. So Gurney knows this has got to go. Tops he needs. A little adjustment, a red bit. Now there's pressure on for double ten. Big moment for Gurney. And he looks across and checks Michael's score. Yeah, just doesn't seem to be able to get the dart there. That is bang in the middle of the top, so that's 2 0. That would Gurney be annoyed at that because, uh, okay, a ton off the 160, but it was an hard working ton. And when you, you want 60 and you go low with a second dart, especially the way Daryl's darts laying he didn't give himself a marker and that's what he'd have wanted if he had a miss with the first well, not Michael's on it isn't he he's so passionate tonight he was having a little pep talk to himself or shall I say a rant it's, uh, it's looking pretty ominous here and as you mentioned Wayne on the stage in the build-up to this match a heavy defeat for Daryl yeah. will do him no favors oh. whatsoever on the legs difference 
Raymond will be watching what's going on here and vice versa, no matter what happens. Barney, of course, boosted by an appearance in the final at the weekend. Yeah. Against Adrian. Yeah, indeed. Adrian Lewis winning a tour event, beating Raymond in the final. Good to see AD back in the winner's circle. And it's good to see, a see Raymond in another final. Can he carry that forward to tonight? We shall find out. Well, if he can hit a 57 here, this bullseye is absolutely begging for it. Oh, he'd be annoyed that it was gaping. <laughs> this had hurt him. 14 for tops for a 1 1 4 check out. Well, if Van Gerwen was annoyed before, he'll be doubly annoyed now, particularly if Gurney pounces here, gets the nine, needs double eight for a break of throw. Every oh, leg Danny. important for Daryl. We remind you, elimination is what he's trying or trying to avoid. Two nights in Rotterdam, Wednesday, Thursday next week, all about avoiding ninth and bottom spot. Yeah, and the dynamic of that is in eighth spot joint with Michael Smith on the same amount of points and Raymond Van Barneveld is bottom but Daryl Gurney has to play Raymond Van Barneveld next week in his own backyard yeah remarkable next difference as well Michael Smith's Ryan level Daryl is minus 11 so Daryl's 11 legs worse off than Michael Smith, a level of five points apiece, so that's almost worth an extra point for, for Michael Smith. Oh, yeah. It? And Barney minus 14. Oh, this is superb. Magnifique! That's better. Darrell. Oh, look at this from MVG. I was trying to leave 170. 25 would have done that well he had no need to go that way Daryl Gurney could have just stayed on the 60s and left 32 yes. well, that's the one we're doing nicely there Daryl Gurney has to take this out now every leg vital for Daryl Gurney tops he needs to level it, double ten. Oh, Why a move? Big moments coming up. Got to move. Well, they were all poorly thrown darts. Not one of them. When he said he's got to move, I didn't fancy it there. It was. Neither did he. No, it's just well. What about Gurney now? Double five. Can he use that as a marker? Yes, he can. Brilliant, Daryl Gurney, two apiece. It was looking ominous just a couple of legs ago at 2 0. Michael has slipped. Daryl has been able to pounce. Yeah, Michael, the last couple of weeks, has just not looked, not looked himself. And if you can read. Recall last week, he just kept flexing his arm. Yep. Uh, I'm not saying he's injured, I'm not insinuating that, I'm just saying that there was a problem last week, and this week just looks slightly off the pace. Well, he's pulled his socks off now, all right? Literally. Because that's exactly what he was doing. If you read everything that's on Twitter, which is... Uh, a lot of nonsense. <laughs> You'll hear so many reasons why Michael actually pulls his socks up. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's funny. I was told to do it many a time when I was at school. Yeah, I bet. 85, Michael Glass 61. Here we go. 16s. He's going to be back anyway. 3-2 advantage. Daryl 
well behind. Yeah, Michael is nowhere near his best, and neither is Daryl. Three two, MVG leads. As you said, Wayne, spot on at the start of this match in the build-up to it. A 7-5 defeat for Daryl wouldn't be the end of the world. The damage limitation, I think, would be a, a good way to put it. Yeah. But if he does get a win, wow. What an event! He's got to hope that MVG doesn't repeat that too often. <laughs> or at all. <laughs> Sometimes there's not a lot you can do, is there? No. <laughs> Yeah, I just think Daryl's led to a tiny bit of rhythm tonight. Well, the last leg and a bit, Michael's certainly found, found the treble 20 easy. Nice from Daryl as we see our checkout statistics. Daryl missing seven and a double out of nine. 64. So he's had his chances. 3-180s to one, but look at the ton 40. Daryl far more consistent there. Well, he really should have looked at Michael's score before that treble. That leaves the bullseye. 96. Michael Rebar 160. Well, this would hurt Gurney, wouldn't it? Switches for 19s and then 17. Oh, pressure now on Daryl to take this. Needs double eight, two darts in hand. Here we go. Only one needed. Brilliant. And the third leg on the board. Encouraging signs for Daryl Gurney in the bigger picture of the battle to beat elimination. Yeah, Barney won't be liking this. When that first dart goes in or above, Daryl Gurney is a completely different player. When it goes below, ruins his rhythm, looks all forced. 59. There we see the bottom of the table. Right now, Gurney still three clear of Barney, but four legs better off. And look at this from Daryl Gurney. Fantastic. And again, you stay there, clatter it in. Oh, that's unlucky. Played nicely now, putting this fella under a bit of pressure. They've both gone through like a leg and a bit spell. Michael did from legs kind of three to four and now now Gurney five to six. Oh, that's a pearler of a dart to take the lead and a 96 finish break of throw as well break of throw four three up minus nine legs difference five legs better than Barney at the foot of the table and he has the lead against Michael Van Gerwen and here he goes again, Daryl Gurney. Yeah, before this match, there was it 2-180s. Before it had only 11 in the tournament. And last year he was leading the 180 stats. And this year he was bottom coming into it. So coming into this week. Just shows you that things are not the same as they were last year for him, which is why we're talking about elimination. It's his third max. Playing beautifully now, though. Could go 5 3 up here. In the next six darts. Well, after three wins on the bounce for Michael Van Gerwen, for the first three weeks, we was all kind of waxing lyrical. We may go unbeaten. He may do this, do that. Well, it's not going according to plan. He's won the league phase for the last six years. Is he going to win it again? 
59. Gurley's back for double 16. Van Gerwen not even on a finish. This well, leg surely has gone for Van Gerwen. Well, and the counting's poor as well. Every, everything just went wrong for him. First time, brilliant. Daryl Gurley is one leg away from guaranteeing a precious point against Michael Van Gerwen. Didn't see this coming in the first leg or two. Decent response from MVG though. Just a little reminder. Oh, Daryl and Michael have drawn in the Premier League before last year. I wonder if Daryl would be happy with a draw now. Would you reckon? It's a tight one, isn't it? it, it if you offered it now, Daryl, you've still got to get over the line for a win or let's offer you a draw and walk off stage now. Yeah. I think he'd walk off stage at the point. You think he'd take the draw? Would, yeah. But I don't know him that well. What are the names? Yeah, take the draw, take the draw. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about timing. Told you. And that's Michael Van Gerwen's fifth max. 59. Uh, okay, might only equate to a hold of throw. But the game is just getting tighter and tighter now. There you go. Still a bit for Gurney to get to that precious line of six legs. Well, he won't be beaten. Now he needs a treble. Big last start. Yeah, really was important. Nine legs in. Gurney leads 5 4. A little bit slack there, so. He's allowed Van Gerwen the opportunity to bounce back, but he needs trebles here. Gets two of them. 134. Every treble, every dart, so important. Michael may start on the 19s here. Trying to leave 170, can't do so. 99. Well, it's in the balance this leg now. And it's a huge leg for Daryl Gurney. Yeah, the, the, the match is in the balance, Nigel, isn't yes. it? It really is. 16. He'd take a draw now. <laughs> yeah, odds on certainty to take that draw now. <laughs> 58. Michael's frustrated, isn't he? He's not scored particularly well, was he? Well, look, he's averaging 97, but we're talking about Michael Van Gerwen. That's not his normal game. It's well below him. It's actually five points below his, his, his average of last year and three and a bit points below his, his average this year. How much pressure is Gurney going to be under to take out this 86? First start, so important. Trouble 18. Oh, brilliant. Double 16 for the point. Yes! Daryl Gurney moves on to six Premier League points. And he is four clear of bottom of the table, Raymond van Barneveld. Now, can Gurney go on and get the extra point for beating MVG? Slack first visit for Michael. Gurney moves up a place in the league table ahead of Michael Smith. And, uh, Raymond van Barneveld will no doubt have an eye on Michael Smith's form now yeah. as well. Just hoping that they, they all lose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you know you're in trouble in the Premier League when you start hoping that the others foul. Uh, uh, I know that through experience, I've done it <laughs> each and every time I played in it. to hit a 180 for Daryl Gurney. Four in the match now for him. Outscoring Van Gerwen on the turn 40 table. Yes, yeah, just the 140s and, and the all-round consistency, to be fair. 
Daryl Gurney has not been the second best player in this contest. And that proves it right there. Said so six darts at a double more. One home run. Double you require one home run. Well, he's certainly not the invincible that we thought he would be, Van Gerwen, in the early stages of this Premier League campaign. Trouble 17 for Daryl. He's got it. Needs the ball for the match. 57-36. He won't go no bullseye route. Double ten. That he's is absolutely left. fantastic. That is why he's the world number one. That is why he's the world champion. Look, it's only a 93 finish, but it was to save the match. That really hurt Daryl. Now he's got to recompose. How he would love a trouble 20 with a first start now, Gurney. All right, the second one. Use that as a marker. A 140 would do him nicely. What a start for Daryl Gurney. Final leg of the match. Oh, here we go. Here we go. What a oh. Well, he's, he's making Michael hit it. A, a, a 140 is not enough, really. All it does is keep close order. But in turn, Michael... One making Daryl hit a treble every visit. Yes, a draw in Nottingham last week. Is it to be a draw in Berlin tonight for Daryl Gurney? But only 60 for MVG. Another 140 to Daryl are doing beautifully here. It's 2 0 down in this match. 81. And then 5 3 up. Daryl Gurney. Great character. Well, even though Michael's been nowhere near his best, he's still averaging 98. It's not like he's had a, an absolute stinker and can't hit a thing. That's good. This should be so high. Yes, yes. Well, we haven't seen a big fish yet in this year's Premier League. And we're still not going to see one. Huge moment for Daryl Gurney in the Premier League. Tops for Gurney to beat Michael Van Gerwen. And Daryl Gurney has beat Michael Van Gerwen here in Berlin tonight. He moves five clear of the bottom of the table. That is a huge win for Gurney. Two legs down, but he has turned it all around. He Thursday at 11 on BBC America and watch live Thursdays at 2 on bbcamerica.com.